is Anne Knight, and I'm 87 years old. I like to read, I knit, um, do jigsaw puzzles. Um, I tried my hand at painting. I'm not the greatest at it, but sometimes I do that. Uh, play cards occasionally, that's about it, I think, at the moment. I've been in Canada for 50 years. It sounds ridiculous, but it started out, we wanted to move from where we were in England. And um, we had a mortgage on our house at a very low percentage rate. And we couldn't get that same rate to move anywhere else in England. And my husband had thought of coming to Canada before, but didn't while his mother was alive. So he looked into it, he, he sent away for some information and it just went from there. We just snowballed then and just came and no regrets. Canada means to me home. Um, I've been very lucky since I came to Canada. Uh, things worked out for us when we arrived here and it is my home. Um, that I think says it all really. Um, in England, um, we used, I don't know if it is so much now, but there was the local town hall, there was a dance every Saturday night there. There were different palais, palais de dance they used to, we used to go to. Um, it was a regular thing. Um, you would go out on a Saturday night to a dance and um, if you didn't have a boyfriend, there'd be three or four girls would go together. And if the boys didn't ask us to dance, then we dance with each other. But we would go just for the dance, the music, you know. We used to listen to some stupid songs when we, I was younger, I can remember, you know. If you, if I were to remember them and tell you them, you'd think, my God, what was the matter with the people when they, in that day and age? <laughs> it was Mersey Dotes and Dozy Dotes and Little Lancy Divey. A giddily Divey too, wouldn't you? Now, if you, if you take it slowly, it's mares eat oats and lambs eat oats and little kids eat ivy. You can't get much more ridiculous than that, can you? Mum, as I called her, or, um, my grandmother, she had certain things that always had to go to the air raid shelter with us. That was a, a key ring full of keys, most of which didn't open anything anymore. They were so old. And a little tiny clock that she called Big Ben. It was so tiny. <laughs> and scissors. Those were the three things always had to go to the air raid shelter with us. <laughs> oh, she had, my Nana had a lot of influence on me. Um, She's the reason I am the person I am, I think. How, how did I meet my husband? We, I met him at work. We both worked at the same company. Um, he had been with the company a long time and I hadn't been there too long, but uh, he asked me out one day and we went to the movies and that was it. So, <laughs> and uh, we were married 44 years when he died. So anything I'm proud of, my sons. My two sons, and since my sons, my grandchildren, I'm very proud of all of them. Uh, I had lost three babies before the, my oldest son was born, so when he arrived, it was oh, it was everything we could ever possibly have wanted. And uh, uh, the youngest boy was born a year later, so and then we stopped. We had a good life. <laughs>